Uh, my name's Luke. I'm going to be your uh, host, or compare, MC for the evening. I'm um, a really great uh, MC, stand up comic, uh, guitarist, bass player, photographer, lover, if I may be so bold. Which I am, so that's fine. Yeah? <laughs> Jokes and laughs already. Cool. I'm also uh, a really keen egotist. So, make of the aforementioned what you will. Uh, owning a camera doesn't make you a photographer, yeah? You're just a twat who owns a camera. Take my five pictures in my life. There you go. Uh, played in the band for ten years. And uh, that was really great fun. But to be honest with you, all that got me was a pair of knackered eardrums. So, any potential hecklers tonight... <coughs> Unless you've got subtitles, it's, it's not going to happen, okay? Um, also got quite a bad back through lifting heavy equipment. These days, fucking love it. Show up, get, get a gig if you can. Show up, microphone, do talking, finish. It's excellent. I'm the star of my own little show. Very happy about that. Say a star. Haven't got much in common with a star. I am quite gassy. Yeah. People also say I have a certain kind of strange magnetism about me. <laughs> Gravity, yeah. <laughs> Star, looking. <coughs> Brian May is not in the audience. Popularity is on the rage now, though, isn't it? That's the that's the thing. Uh, it, reality shows are pretty much based on people's need to be popular, which is which is quite strange to think about it because by virtue of applying to go on a reality show you're pretty much acknowledging you've got some form of character flaw, you're unpopular. Yeah, and I'm, I'm generally talking about the sort of celebrity reality shows, I mean, it's probably true of all the genres, but these people were once popular, and now they're, by dint of something they've done, they're no longer popular. And their, their, their thinking is, if, if I sequester myself in an intense and uncomfortable environment, that'll bring out the best in me, that'll show everyone my good side, that's, that's why prisons are such nice places to be around. Yeah. Um, but anyway, MPs, they can be as popular as footballers if they want to be. All they need to do is swap shirts at the end of PMQs and swear in John Burkow's face every time he calls order. I have trouble, I have trouble with women. So I need to tell you a story that's when it happened to me recently. I was at, I was at a party, okay, and across, across the, the floor I saw this girl and she was, whoo -hoo, yeah, she was, she was a girl, all right, yeah. She had, woohoo, yeah, she had, oh, she had, you know, hair, yeah, she had hair, yeah, she had, she had shoes, shoes, she had a face, oh, wow, that face is, uh, face the clock, two tickets to Faceville. Um, and uh, this beautiful girl, I need to say something to her, what do I, what do I say to this beautiful girl? I need to walk up to her and say something, and I walked up and I said, what, what type of stuff are you into? <laughs> now, now, that's a shit thing to ask a girl in fantasy, right? But for quantum physicists, this is a great question. Quantum physicists love this type of question. You say, hey, man, what type of stuff are you into? And they go, ooh, C++, Java, things like that. <laughs> so I take that stony silence to mean we haven't got many software engineers amongst us. Because <laughs> those were two types of programming languages. <laughs> yep. Okay, yep. Don't say the jokes aren't there. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to go and say something to her. And I, I ask something stupid. But what are you supposed to say to a girl in your fancy? No one tells you what to say. No one tells you what you're supposed to say to a woman. But anyway, so I made mistake number one. I said, what type of stuff are you into? Okay. And she looks me back in the eye. She looks me back in the eye and she says, anal sex. Thus instantaneously rendering mistake number one a raging success, right? Yeah, or at least you'd think so. <laughs> Up until mistake number two, where I, over the sound of the loud music, misheard the word anal sex for insects. <laughs> and replied, oh cool, how many legs? <laughs> I now feel like an idiot because it turns out all insects have got six legs on like. it. You can probably tell by now I spend a lot of time on the internet. And um, one of the, the criticisms that, that people say about the internet 
is that uh, it's too fleeting, that people read things and they move on really quick because there's always the next best thing on the internet. If there's one person that doesn't move on on the internet, I'm him. So I, I read this news story the other day and it's never in my entire life have, has a sentence made me want to know everything I can possibly know about the situation. But the headline was, <clears throat> School teacher fined after putting 19 kids in a car. <laughs> I, I read on. Um, it turned out a lady, real life lady, had um, basically done a school trip with 19 kids in a car. Um, the minibus called off, we can't do it today. What? Yeah, yeah, um, they, they can't do it, they just, they called off, it's been a busy week, they can't do it. What about the school trip? Can't do the school trip, no. See you in a bit. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Kids, come over here. I don't understand it. I read, I, read, I read into it, would you believe? And um, I, I, I have a few highlights of this news story, and um, I'll, leave, I'll leave you with them. One of my highlights was a witness statement <laughs> that genuinely said, at first the kids seemed excited, then they got scared and started to cry. <laughs> oh, wow, someone's very excited to see me. That's, that's strange. Oh, nice. Um, you don't usually get that excited when people see a ginger kid, so <laughs> deal with it. Also, I bet you can't wait to spend the next five minutes listening to a math teacher. Woo! Well, if only the class were that excited as well. But uh, no, I won't be doing any maths-based jokes because they're rubbish. Um, that's cos. They're rubbish. <laughs> I mean, you're laughing, so that's always a good sign. Oh, he's got two trigonometry jokes in there. Two. Two. Oh, but no, I've... Went off on a bit of a tangent there. Oh, he's got all three! He's got all three! Oh. Okay, okay, let's stop with the maths puns now. Because they're, they're, they are easy, aren't they? Puns. I mean, you could say they're easy as pie. Oh! Oh, he just can't stop. I, I just cannot stop. The last one there, a little bit obscure. I is a complex number. So when I said I just cannot stop, I mean laughing and learning. <laughs> Has anyone here got a surname? <laughs> yeah, I take that as a yes. It's good. It, it, this goes better when people can relate to it. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm fascinated with surnames. I'm fascinated with the origins of surnames, with the meanings of surnames, because we didn't always have them. It, in the old days, there were a lot less people, and we just had first names, but then population grew to such a point where there were... Th th there's too many Steves. We need a better way to differentiate between the Steves and the other people. Uh, so they gave out surnames for reasons... Honestly, it's not me. Is it me? I don't think so. Just... Yeah, so they go out surnames for reasonably arbitrary reasons. Um, if you have brown hair, you've got the surname Brown. You've got the surname Hill if you live near a hill. Mm -hmm. There weren't that many people around in the old days, evidently. Um, and, yeah, so, so um, you, you, sir, have you got a surname? Me? Yes, you. Caldwell. Pardon? Caldwell. Caldwell. Yeah. Do you know what that means? No, me neither. Um, <laughs> probably should have done more research uh, for this. Uh, you, sir, have you got a surname? Say Smith. Smith. Yes, Smith. It's not Smith. Unfortunately. What is it? Devonish. Devonish. So that's probably someone who's from Devon, yeah. basically. That's a geographical one. It's just, or near Devon, in that area. <laughs> near Devonish. Um, so all this sort of makes me wonder what my ancestor, uh, Steve Shakeshaft. <laughs> Using bumper stickers in the cars, yeah, it started out with Baby on board, which was admittedly kind of cute, but now, like, 
any virus, they suddenly mutated into something awful and awful. And so many of these damn things, like no small person on board. Well, that's one. I admit it's probably better than saying midgets on board. <laughs> got, we got little princess on board, naughty boy on board. Fun bit of homework for you guys. Get a naughty boy on board bumper sticker and um, stick it on a police car. Whoa, rum drops on rude boys and wrinkles on rasters. Dub reggae drum beats and lions as masters. Doobies and dreadlocks and jerk seasoning. These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> was the start. Yeah, is everyone here from Bristol, by the way? No. no. no? no. Oh. I'm playing to an away crowd. This is weird. <laughs> because I'm from Bristol. I love living. I've lived here all my life, and I really love living in it. Because it's such a lovely, varied city. Like every district of Bristol has its own personality, basically. The centre, for example, is all like, "We've got all the shops, and you can't have any." <laughs> now St Paul's is a lot more like. <laughs> I want some crack. <laughs> Where we are now, Stokes Croft, is kind of similar, but it's more like... I want some hummus. <laughs> and some crack. <laughs> Lawrence Hill is kind of harder to define because there's not really any very many distinguishing features there, except for the fact that once you're within its boundaries, it is impossible, impossible to buy a can of Coke that does not have Arabic writing on it. <laughs> not that you want to, and I like that. It's like, oh, this beverage could contain a genie. <laughs> Chalam, diabetes. <laughs> Clifton's, Clifton's the strangest of all, I think, I think, really. Because that's a lot more the flavour of... Oh, hello. Yes, I'm sorry. We've, we, I, sorry, we've broken the Range Rover. Tarquin hasn't been able to get to his violin, so. Little obsequia. There's Mr. Ballet. And I haven't even had time to whip the slave. Yes, I think I'd better go and have some hummus. Have a nice all. Thank you very much.